Hey, welcome to a new episode of Rad City Berlin. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. Today we're gonna finally go over all the mods that we've done so far on the Super 73 RX that we have here on Rad City Berlin. We've done a lot of work to it so far, a lot of mods. Got videos for each of the mods here on Rad City Berlin. We'll basically start in chronological order to kind of go through from the beginning to the end from when I first got the bike all the way up until you see it now in its current uh, iteration. So it's gone through some slight changes. I'll go through that all here through the price reveal here today on Rad City. So before we start today's video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, support Rad City. That'd be super awesome. Help me put out more Rad content. In today's price video, we're going to basically break it down into three different prices. We're going to have the overall price without um, shipping, and then we'll have the overall price with shipping, and then we'll do the third overall price with customs. Kind of hard to quantify because Shipping was more or less all included and more or less all the items, but customs was not in every single item. So I just want to break it down so you guys know uh, from the overall price um, to then the overall shipping price to the overall price together with customs. I'll throw up all the prices here on the wall so that then you guys can follow along and see how much we then paid for then the Super 73 RX here on Rad City Berlin. This is all in Euro by the way. All the prices are going to be in Euro, okay? So at the end of the video too, I can also calculate for the US dollar according to the current conversion rate. So starting off here, May 12th pre-order from Super 73 Direct. I paid $36.99 for the RX pre-order price. So that was really good, say at 500 euro, right? I waited 156 days until October 10th for the bike to actually come. Well worth the wait so far, been a fun machine. So I paid $36.99 for the Super 73 RX pre-order price. And then total with shipping was $38.24. There was no customs, direct from Super 73, right? So I got the bike in October, shot that, that first video running around on the RX, just learning to, uh, to get that framing right. I know that the video was pointed down a little bit too far, but all good, it's been a blast since then. Rad City's blown up, we've got a lot of subs since then. A lot of cool content with the uh, RX so far, so that's been fun. So before I even got the bike, I ordered those blur boundary decals for the left and right side. Uh, candy flipped them, what the Super 73 style, like what the dunks each side that you film it on. It shows a different uh, look to like the whole bike. It's pretty cool. So I ordered those before they even came. That's why they say on them Super Squad and not blur boundary. So it's pretty dope. It's like the original Super Squad, uh, Super 73 decals that I got from Etsy. Really nice. I paid for the X decal here. The X decal, I paid 44.35 euro, right? And then with shipping, I paid, shipping was 18.58. So with shipping included, I paid 62 euro and nine cents, okay, for the X decal. And then for the camo decal on the other side, I paid 46.44 euro. So the total for the blur camo with shipping was then 62.13. Right, this is a 6213 with shipping. All right, so those were just for the decals, for the uh, battery cover, and as well too for the fork cover, for the stock fork covers. Um, and as well too, it also provided a sticker for then the middle of the battery, which I never put on. I just put on basically for the, uh, for the left side, the X decal, and the right side, the camo. So at this point, basically now the bike was good to go. It was uh, stock. I had basically just installed the wing lights and the one-up component pedals. So that was really good. That was really um, that was running really good stock when I first got the bike there last year in October. Um, and then if you've been following my channel, you guys know what happened after that. Basically, uh, the the uh, tire pop heard around the Super 73 community, right? Uh, I was pulled over by the cops in that, in that day and that the rear tire basically had had exploded. I gotten some um, I gotten some service done from the Yepli guys and for some reason they put in seven bars of air. Way too much air, right? So basically it was um, too much air, made the tire explode. So that then caused the whole chain reaction where it really started but then the whole mods and upgrades for then the Super 73. So tire pop heard around the Super 73 community. I reached out that weekend to Super 73 EU. They luckily got back to me Monday already, said, hey, no worry, we got you covered. They sent out uh, free of charge, a Super 73 Badger tire. It was a demo tire, it was a used tire, but at least it was lightly used, plus a inner tube. So we, so I contacted Yepley again. They, had, they helped me put in the inner tube and as well the tire from Super 73. 
Unfortunately, the Super Saiyan 3 tire was compromised, right? Um, basically, yeah, so the tire that, that the, the inner tube that they had sent us was, uh, had a hole in it. So I basically ordered another inner tube, a second inner tube. And then when I ordered the second inner tube, I also ordered the Sunrace X10 DLC 10 speed cassette, right? 137 euro 98 for the Sunrace X10 DLC 10 speed wide range cassette, all right? I also ordered at the same time the tire sealant. At that point, I didn't want to have another in, uh, incident with my rear tire or with, or with my front tire. So then we ordered as well to the tire sealant, which was then 25 euro, plus the injector, which was 10 euro and then, uh, 99 for then the injector for the tire sealant. And then with shipping, that was as well 3 euro 95 cents. All right. So the tire sealant injector plus shipping costed this much. And by that point then, it was good to go. Yepley helped me get the second inner tube in the bike. We put in the Sun Race cassette that took a little bit of work. That took like two days to get in. They had to send out somebody from another location to help take a look at the Sun Race cassette. Yepley got the whole service in, thankfully. We got then the second inner tube in the bike, uh, working beautifully, holding air. Got the um, Badger tire from Super Saiyan 3 on the bike as well too. We put on the Sun Race wide range cassette plus as well the um, KNC chain. So after that, after getting finally the rear tire sorted 100%, getting that running 100%, we then ordered then the front decal from Visual Impact. Really nice uh, decal from Visual Impact, plus then the, the blur handlebars. So I don't have the Visual Impact on the bike now because uh, it doesn't fit the actual, de the actual cowl here from Flow Carbon, but not a big deal. Really nice, beautiful front front decal. If you have a stock Super Saiyan 3, I can highly recommend that Visual Impact front decal. So I had gotten that installed, plus the blur handlebars, plus a custom blur decal set, right? The blur handlebars costed 120 US dollar. Uh, the blur custom decals that I made with them was $200. Uh, I have not installed the custom decals yet. I was waiting for the Flow Carbon set. So I'm going to see about getting those onto the Flow Carbon eventually. But basically it was 120 for the handlebar and 200 then for the custom decals plus another 75 us dollar then for shipping so if you total it up 395 us dollar for then the handlebar the custom decal and shipping no customs thankfully uh, and then as well too i ordered then the uh, blur mirrors and the blur cowl which i don't have on the bike so the blur mirror and the blur cowl for them for then the, the uh, stock super 73 seat that was 247 with shipping. So the blur mirrors were then like 48 US dollar. Uh, the blur cowl was like 135 US dollar. And then that total with shipping was then 247 with shipping. I don't have the mirrors on there because they don't fit the uh, blur handlebars actually. They only fit the, the stock handlebars. Uh, not without some sort of grinding. So same thing with like the ring lights or with the mirrors. You gotta do a little bit of MacGyver, a little bit of grinding uh, to get the uh, to get the uh, mounts to fit inside of the handlebar. So I've not been too hard up in terms of grinding down my handlebar. So I'm looking into other, other solutions and for mirrors eventually. No big rush, it's been okay riding around without mirrors, but I know long term it'd be rad to have some mirrors on the bike. So yeah, at that point then we had then the uh, uh, the Sunrace DLC cassette on, had then the KNC chain on, had then the blur handlebars. Those were a game changer because then you're really pressing more down on the front handlebar, unlike the front forks and like the front suspension, keeping that bike planted. As well too, we had then the visual impact front decal on the bike. It was looking beautifully. We have videos for all those different mods that you guys can check out in the video below here. Uh, in the description, I have all like the links, all the different videos, all the mods. So at that point, the bike was, re was running really good. We then ordered then the, um, the Ray Dynamics mole panel. Plus we also ordered the cane belt saddlebags. For that, I have um, a really cool install video as well too for that mod as well too. So if you haven't seen that video, check out that video as well too for then the Ray Dynamics uh, mole panel install as well too for then the um, cane belt saddlebag. So that was a fun video, really great mod. So these have been some of the most useful mods so far in terms of adding some storage capability, lightening up that book bag, and just carry around my essentials in, on, on the bike right now. So that's really helpful. If you guys wanna see a video of what I keep in my bags, leave a comment below. I'll make a video for you guys as well too in terms of what's in my bag part two here in Rad City Berlin. So the cane built saddlebags I also ordered along with the carbon fiber chain ring cover. 
beautiful carbon fiber chain ring cover here from Kane Built. So the uh, carbon fiber chain ring cover you pay 35 US dollar for, saddlebags 80 US dollar for, plus an additional 50 euro 36 cents for them for shipping. I'll throw up here the price, the total price here with shipping for the Kane Built saddlebag and the carbon fiber chain ring cover plus shipping. Uh, thankfully there was no customs so this was in here the, the total price then for the cane belt kit so next up is then the Ray Dynamics mold panel that we had ordered from Ray Dynamics directly really nice beautiful mold panel beautiful fit and finish super easy to, to install the Ray Dynamics mold panel we paid 195 euro for plus and an additional 26 euro for then the CN1 net an additional 68.30 for then shipping cost so then the total here for the whole Ray Dynamics setup was then this much here, okay? So once we got the Ray Dynamics mold panel on and as well to the cane built style bags, the bike was, was really useful, really utilitarian, really helpful, worked beautifully. So I've been really happy with all this, the uh, storage options of the bike so far. So the next mod that we did on the bike at that point was installing this beautiful Alcantara seat from Blur Boundaries, right? Had a really nice ride test video, riding around, checking out the Alcantara seat. If you haven't seen that already, check that out after this video. Riding around there, checking out this Alcantara seat for the first time. Yeah, the Blur Boundaries Alcantara seat, I paid 120 US dollar for, plus an additional 78 US dollar then for shipping. So there I paid then 198 US dollar total for then the shipping for the seat and for uh, shipping. Thankfully there was no customs. As soon as we installed here the Blur Alcantara seat, I went ahead and I uh, ordered then after that point, you know, the bike was, was super comfortable, but I know it was still, it was still a little bit painful on the knees from pedaling around all, all the time. I went ahead and I ordered these beautiful Lecky 160mm center offset buzz bar uh, crank arms. So I paid 147 euro 27 cents then for the Lecky buzz bars, plus an additional 33 euro 13 cents then for the uh, shipping there was customs there was an additional i would say 50 50 euro customs then for the lucky buzz bars so total i paid 200 euro i would say like around right under 200 euro then for the lucky buzz bars plus shipping plus the customs i gotta put it up here on the screen but roughly it was about 200 dollars you can say so at that point then I had a uh, really nice, you know, we had the carbon fiber chain ring, the Lecky crank arms, we had then the blur boundary seat, handlebar, the visual impact front decal. We had then the cane belt saddle bag and the mold dynamic uh, mold panel plus the Sunrays 10 speed cassette. The bike was running beautifully so I was really happy with the bike. But I had one other major mod that was on its way that, that I had ordered way back in the day, back when it was first announced, was the Flow Carbon nine piece body kit here from Flow Carbon, straight from America. So a really nice, beautiful carbon fiber kit, nine piece kit. I had gotten that pre-order from Flow Carbon. I paid this much for it, 880 uh, euro for then the Flow Carbon body kit pre-order price, plus an additional for then shipping. I paid an additional 220 then for customs so then the total price here for then the flow carbon nine piece body kit for the items itself plus shipping plus customs equals right, and, and that's how much then we paid then for the flow carbon nine piece body kit right all in all i'm really happy with it it had then the front fender the front cowl the fork covers the bash plate the rear the, the rear fender, the rear tire hugger, side panel, battery cover, chain ring protector then for the frame, okay? I don't keep the, um, I don't keep the battery cover on the bike, mainly because of theft. It's being held on by two-sided tape. So I don't necessarily want to leave the bike outside uh, with that chain, with, with that carbon fiber battery cover, mainly because it's fairly easy to steal if somebody wanted to. So, expensive bit, beautiful. Just leave it off the bike right now for show. Okay, but look, it looks great. I love the carbon fiber kit. It's been one of the nice upgrades for sure. This flow carbon fiber uh, body kit, the titanium uh, rear axle nut. I've also uh, ordered as well too. Guys, have that already installed, obviously. In the last video, you guys will have seen that from the ZX mods. Okay, so we installed the titanium axle nut covers as well too. Our axle nuts. Those are about. 29 euro plus an additional 30 then for shipping 
So we can save 60 euro total for the actual nut plus shipping and customs. Let's say 10 euro then for the, the titanium nut. So you're looking at about 70 euro total for then the axle nut here, the titanium axle nut. So basically if I add up all of the items that I paid for on the Super 73 RX since I purchased the bike, without shipping and without customs, we're looking at 6,170 euro and 81 cents. All right, and then if we add shipping, and then we add customs. Yeah, it's a short video today, just kind of going over the Super 73 mods that we've done so far here on Rad City Berlin. Hope you guys appreciate today's video. Just putting together a real quick, comprehensive overview of all the mods that we've done here on Rad City Berlin. So you guys know how much we paid for, and also the shipping and eventual customs. So you guys know what to expect if you're if you're going to be ordering here in the EU. Uh, it doesn't mean that shipping can be the same or even customs can be the same. Every country is different, of course, every location is different. But that way then you guys know more or less what we paid for here on Red City Berlin for then the Super 73 RX. Be on the lookout for more Super 73 content here on Red City Berlin. Uh, we have the ZX and as well as the RX. We're doing content with both bikes. Uh, plus be on the lookout for more Super 73 content. Hopefully we'll get more people here in Berlin. To get uh, to get Super 73s, so that was really a fun time meeting up there with the boss of Kudam on his S2. So hope you guys been enjoying all the videos so far. Real quick breakdown of the Super 73 RX mods here on Rad City Berlin. I'll catch you guys again real soon. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Super 73 content every week here on Rad City Berlin. So I'll see you guys again real soon. This is Rad City. I'm out.